question 2 of the May 2019 CSEC pass paper 2A1 simplify completely so what you have here is 3p squared times 4p to the fifth power now what is 3 p squared times 4 p to the fifth you know that when you have 3 p squared it means 3 times p squared and when you have 4 p to the fifth it's really 4 times p to the fifth so everything here every each term multiplies the other term now let's put like terms together numbers together 3 times 4 you don't have any other numbers then the letters p so it's times p squared times p to the power of 5 now 3 fours is 12 times what is p to the fifth times p to the to what is p squared times p to the fifth here what you're looking at is the same base with different indices it means the same letter raised to the two different powers so p squared multiplied by p to the fifth you know that you add the indices p to the two plus five so you end up with 12 p to the seven now as for the p squared times p to the fifth let's look uh, a little more at it p squared what is p squared the two here means that there are two p's and they multiply each other p times p times the five here means you have five p's and they multiply each other times p times p times p times p times p when you expand out everything this is what you have two p's then another five p but p times p times p times p times p times p times p is what you know p times p is p squared times p again is p cube times p again is p to the fourth times p again p to the fifth p to the sixth and finally p to the seventh so you that's why you have p to the seven here you add these indices so 7 p's multiply each other is p to the 7 so this here is the answer that you get